Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel where I talk about all of my adventures or college advice. In this video, I'll be talking about what I think you definitely need in your college backpack. What should you have packed in your backpack at all times? To start off, I just want to share that I don't think it matters what type of backpack you have, what brand you have, as long as you have a backpack that's sizable enough to your liking and has enough support to carry all of your necessities. I think you'll be okay. My personal preference in a backpack has a sleeve in the back for your laptop and then lots of pockets for different knickknack sort of things and I'll explain that in a minute. My backpack came from Target and if you didn't know right now as a college student or incoming college student if you sign up through a rewards program they have you can get 20 percent off your entire order if you can supply proof of your enrollment at that university and I think that in prepping for college between storage and snacks and all of the things in between, don't forget a backpack, especially if you're wanting a fresh start. A new backpack is a great way to do that. Remember that you can be as creative as you want with the design of your backpack and stuff like that, but as I said, it doesn't have to be super fancy. Nobody really cares. So what do you need in your backpack? Well, obviously you're going to want your laptop or iPad, whatever you use. Uh, as your electronic for your classes. A lot of people take notes on their computers or even if you do it by hand, it's important to have your laptop with you because you can access your grades, you can access Word documents and stuff like that. I'm somebody that likes to take handwritten notes, so making sure that I have the notebooks for those courses that I need and then my pencil pouch that has pencils, pens, scissors, Sticky notes, index cards, whiteout, pencil sharpener, pretty much any basic necessities as far as stationery and office supplies goes, I carry around in my backpack, especially if other people don't have them. It's nice to have them in your backpack in case somebody needs to borrow it. And then I think a lot of people forget about this, and I always find that it's nice being that person that has this sort of stuff in their backpack, but Make sure that you have maybe a box of band-aids and like antibiotic ointment or just basic first aid stuff because sometimes people need a band-aid and it's just nice to have that on hand because there aren't always places that you can go really fast and find those sort of first aid things. Another thing would be hand lotion or just something for like cracked dry skin. I know that in the winter time where I go to school at Syracuse University, it gets really dry and my hands were always cracked and I knew people that it got to the point where they would bleed. So you want to make sure that you're keeping your skin moisturized, especially if you're going to school somewhere where it's brutally cold in the winter. And then with that, make sure if it is the winter time, you are carrying gloves in your backpack. If you don't store them in your pockets or you're not wearing them and in the summertime on the flip side if you are someone that likes sunglasses make sure that you have sunglasses in your backpack if you're not wearing them it doesn't hurt to carry a water bottle and an umbrella in your backpack I know a lot of backpacks have the pockets on the side on one side I carry my water bottle and the other side I carry my umbrella Make sure you have those things with you when you're out and about on campus going between classes. You never know when the weather's going to change when you're inside and you get outside and you see that it's pouring. It's important to have those things on hand. Then make sure you're carrying some snacks with you and even a few liquid IV packs for your water bottle. It's important that you have those things on hand because you never know if you're going to get a migraine or just be dehydrated and need a snack. Sometimes you're in a crunch and you don't have enough time to go get lunch between classes. Maybe you have two exams in one day. Just make sure you have snacks in your bag and you'll be able to tide yourself over. With that, make sure you have whatever medication that you need or carry on a day-to-day -day basis. I have my inhaler and ibuprofen in my bag at all times. It's just important to have your health things in your bag at all times just in case something bad happens. I know some people like to carry this in their bag and I'm not huge on it, but mints and gum, I know sometimes that helps people focus or maybe it's just nice to refresh their breath. I'm not a huge gum chewer, it's just not something I do, but 
if that's something you like, make sure you have one or two packs of gum in your bag at all times. And then, especially if you pull out a piece and want to offer it to somebody, um, that's always nice. And that's a great conversation starter if you're new in your classes and you're trying to make new friends. Ask them if they want a piece of gum. Make sure if you don't have a lanyard for your keys and you're living in a dorm room that you have somewhere safe to put your keys. I carried my keys on my lanyard and had a designated spot in my bag if I was no longer wearing it, but I carried it in my bag so I never got it lost or stolen or anything like that. But make sure that you have somewhere safe to store your keys when you leave your dorm and then you're out for your classes for the rest of the day. And then for those who like to make sure that their makeup, hair, and perfume stuff are stocked up, if you have travel sizes of those things, that's great. But a travel size hairbrush, I think, will go a long way. And maybe a mini perfume if you just need to freshen up. I always carried my deodorant in my backpack as well. Or I had another deodorant for my backpack. And that was always really helpful. And then just extra hair accessories like hair ties or claw clip, that sort of thing. Just in case you want to pull your hair back and maybe something breaks or somebody needs to borrow one. It's just important to have those on hand just in case. And then last, and this goes for some people, not all. But if you like to go to the gym and you have a change of clothes, make sure that you don't leave your gym clothes in your bag more than you have to. Sometimes I would go to the gym in the mornings and then my clothes would stay in my bag until I got home at maybe two or three o'clock in the afternoon that day. So they were in my bag for maybe five hours. Take them out of your bag and wash them or at least put them in the laundry basket so they're not staying in your bag for overnight or multiple days. It can get smelly and nobody wants to deal with that. So that's all I've got for this video, everything I think you need for your college backpack, and I'm sure I miss things just because what I need isn't always what everybody else needs, or I miss things that are important to others. So please let me know if I miss anything, I'm always looking for new suggestions and ideas, or if you have any questions and inquiries of future videos. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.